Boogie Bob experience. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Oh, we gonna have some fun. We gonna have some fun. Now back to Gene Krupa's syncopated style shortly. Guys, today we're going to be talking about the evolution of the Times Square drummer. Times Square drummers have been out there forever, and I've seen hundreds and hundreds of different ones come and go, but today I'm going to spotlight a few of the really good ones that I think you might like. And stay tuned till the end because I'm going to show you the most famous Times Square drummer of all time on video I'm bringing out from my ball. There are so many different kinds of drummers. I think the reason that the drummer is so specific to Times Square and other tourist attraction areas is because you really don't need to buy an instrument. You can bring out a damn bucket, and if you can do this with your hands or with a stick, you got drums. Whether you're good or not, that's the difference. Some are good, some are great, some are crap, and we're going to go through the different kind of drummers right now. One type of drummer you're going to see is what I call the unique drummer. Like this guy here. This guy is not particularly great, but he has no arms and you've never seen anything like it. So of course you're going to want to watch and you're going to want to contribute and donate to him. Uh, check this guy. to charge you five dollars just for looking at him and then when he finally plays he's horrible this guy is the worst i wouldn't give him a nickel You have 
the one you'll see the most is the guy banging on little plastic buckets and then some refrigerator components or a hubcap or a coffee can. You'll see them all over the place.
proud of it. This kid is insanely amazing. I don't know what he's up to right now. Maybe I'll do a follow-up, but I want you guys to stay tuned right now because I'm gonna put a little three-minute documentary I found on this kid from his beautiful mother talking about at the age of three months, this kid was trying to bang little drums out and stuff. Anyways, I hope that you had a good time. Check out Larry Wright, an unbelievable talent discovered right here in Times Square. Just phenomenal. Thanks for tuning in. I got a crazy guy yelling and screaming over here. I have to make sure that I don't get stabbed before the exit of this video. He's seriously going wild over here. That's Times Square, baby. That's what you get when you come to Times Square. But listen, check out this documentary. Shout out to Larry Wright, his beautiful mother, his whole family. This is amazing. God bless you. Please be kind and loving to each other and pray for me. Pray for me, bruh. something different but to drum and make music out of that compound can is just beyond my my recognition larry uh has been a lot of, around a lot of music um uh, when he was like uh three months old i sing and i stayed him with me to rehearsals whatever object was near him he would take it in his hands and just plank a 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 plank i made it up myself self-taught the most and the best drummer in the world. That's his thought. That's his dream. To be the best drummer in the world. That's like a Latin beat. And then this one, then I would like to... That's an African beat. Then my hip-hop beat is like this. can be when I go.